Cheers, everybody. Hello. We are having um, Tuesday morning water drinks. Okay, I'm Nathan Chan. I'm the managing director of Proud Fertility, which is a surrogacy and egg donation agency in Canada. So we've got somebody in the hot seat. She is uh, going to introduce herself. So first of all, tell us a little bit about um, who you are in the context of our consultancy and with no, without any names. Well, I am a proud egg donor who has done several donations through Proud Fertility. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, what led you to egg donation? Or being an egg donor is a very key question. Absolutely. So um, I actually have a friend who experienced fertility issues and I watched her go through her journey. And uh, through that, it inspired me to want to reach out and help other people as well. Okay, cool. So because I've known you a little bit, more than say another donor you've done several donations and we've collected our questions i'm going to be a little bit harder or are you ready for that yes okay okay so first of all do you want to be a mom one day absolutely yes um i've recently gotten married and my husband and i are talking about having children soon. congratulations <laughs> she got married she's hitched okay so back off so you're gonna have a kid are you working on that uh will be soon yeah <laughs> it's in the plan <laughs> okay cool so again so egg donors can be people that have children already they can be people like you who don't have children but are going to have a child one day or, or so it's just all the works okay and so um I'm gonna ask you what I hear all the time. How do you do that? Like, are you just giving away your children? <laughs> Every time I hear this, I laugh. Um, I don't see it as the same. Oh, there we are. Okay. Um, I'm just giving someone eggs. I'm giving somebody a gift. Um, so I, I, I think I laugh when I hear those comments. I, I don't think of it that way at all. Okay. So you will give me one of your children. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So again, it's it, your. Do you think of them as just eggs or? Let's, let's play with that a little bit. Yeah, no, I think of them, I, I don't see them as my children. I am giving someone a gift. Um, it's To me, it's just an egg um, until, you know, they become a family. They, um, I, I don't see myself in that equation. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about that. You've given these eggs. Usually it's not just one egg. You give away 20 grandchildren or grandchildren sorry child. you're not grandma yet but no. you give away these children give it the, the you give this gift of egg donation to somebody mm -hmm. now you said you want to be a mom one day and yet they have a baby do you have a connection do you feel a connection to this baby that they they get out of this no i don't i mean they are the ones that i think it's a lot about mindset as well i i know i go into this knowing that I'm giving them eggs. These are not my children. I have no connection to these children once they're born. Um, I look at it as I'm helping create a beautiful family. Um, I have had the pleasure of meeting some of these intended parents and they are incredible, very deserving people. And I know that they are going to make great parents one day. Okay. So you, you kind of feel connection with the recipients or are there any connections made? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel, um, I have made a bunch of connections with the recipients. I've met some incredible people along the way. Um, it, it makes me very proud to do what I do. Okay, cool. Um, what's been the scariest or most challenging part of many different egg, uh, egg donations that you've done? I would say I have never had any scary moments, but I've had, um, some uncomfortable comments, I guess, made toward, um, you know, what I do, egg donation, um, comments such as, uh, it's essentially like I'm cheating on my husband or, you know, like you said, giving away children. You've cheated many times. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> right. Okay. So you're, you've been accused of cheating on your husband. What else? Um, Let's hear it. <laughs> So, yeah, just a lot of it stems from misinformation, um, just, you know, and it, just how people perceive this situation. Um, but I, I personally don't <laughs> see it as that. And so I just let these comments roll off my back and I don't pay any attention to them. What about injections and, 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 and medications and things like that? My very first donation, I was a little nervous for the injection part. Um, that was the first time I've ever given myself any injections. I've never done anything like that before. Um, where, where do the injections go, first of all? Just your in arm? Your, no, in your stomach. Um, that's where all my injections have gone. Nothing in the bum? 
No, I no, okay. That's what surrogates do. Okay. <laughs> no, no, just in the stomach. Um, so yeah, the very first time I was a little nervous, but the clinic, uh, they did help me. I watched some videos. Um, and then after the first time, it's kind of all in your head <laughs> and it was, it's just simple. Okay, <laughs> it's easy. Cool. We actually, um, this proud egg donor has actually done videos where you videoed you doing injections. So make yes. sure you look for that or we'll <laughs> post that, repost that one day. Cool. Okay. So, um, I'm going to actually just go and talk a little bit about your different, your, I'm going to get you to share a little bit about your different donation experiences. So, um, were they all one specific type of donation? What kinds of donations did you do? Um, so I've done both anonymous and no donations. Um, so that means that I have done donations where I have never met the recipients. I don't, I've never seen a picture, nothing. Um, and then I have done known ones where they can vary. Sometimes um, we just have a casual introduction at the beginning and that's it. Or it can, um, it's sometimes it has expanded and we have built a relationship and I'm very, uh, very honored to have been mm. a part of all, every single type of donation. I mean, it, to me, um, it doesn't matter what type, it's just the thought of what I'm doing and the gift I'm providing. Mm -hmm. And I think you've even done one where you just know the names, but there was just never any, um, Never any um, communication, communication or correspondences. Yeah. And that was didn't make your gift any less of value or anything? Or did you feel less appreciated? No, not at all. Did you feel all. like you were cheating on somebody again? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. Um, even just the very brief, quick introduction I've had with these parents, I could tell how uh, thankful they were. And even just within a few moments, I knew that they were going to be fantastic parents, very caring people. So you've done anonymous. Um, Essentially, no contact, no donations, full on knowing Sunday brunch kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> Tuesday brunch kind of thing. Um, so the relationship with these intended parents, do you, the ones that you did know, mm -hmm. are you planning on keeping in touch with them? What are the scenarios? Can you expand on that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the parents that I do keep in touch with, um, we communicate fairly often. So uh, once a month or once every few months, I'll get a quick email update as they're progressing through their journey. And then there was another couple that maybe I hear once a year, once every couple years. And um, both have been fantastic. And I've had very good relationships yeah. with both. And there's been also some that have been kind of like negotiated saying, you know what, I, we don't really want to talk, but let's talk at the end when we have a baby, for yeah. example. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, that's cool. Um, keeping in touch. And finally, what were the results like or the pain levels or things like that? Um, so I wouldn't say it's as painful as I first thought it was going to be. Um, it's more discomfort. So um, I experienced discomfort near the time of my retrieval. So that's when you feel a little bloated. Um, you're taking your trigger medications. That's when you're getting ready for the donation. Um, and then of course, during and after the um, procedure, I did feel a bit of discomfort, but that went away within a few days. The boat bloating went away. And uh, yeah, I, I haven't had any negative experiences everybody that i've um, encountered at the clinics they've been super helpful um if i've ever had any questions so okay cool so you said something really amazing you said my gift ends at the egg retrieval what does that mean can you elaborate on that so my gift ends after the egg retrieval yeah so when i said my gift ends after the egg retrieval that means that um I don't feel like i have any connection with the parent so i am giving them the gift and there you go. <laughs> Essentially, good luck. <laughs> but um, good luck, Sayonara. Yeah. No, but um, <laughs> I mean, I still, of course, keep in contact with some people after the retrieval. But um, for me, that's the end of my uh, responsibilities. Essentially, I've done my part. I've done the best I could to give them this gift, and uh, from you know, from there on, it's their journey. And it's very. It does vary. So results wise. Um, I think you said that there was, was there a donation where you had less eggs, but someone had a baby, somebody had more eggs, they didn't have as many good results. Just tell us about that. Yeah. So uh, after my first donation, I did feel a little uh, discouraged. I felt like I let them down as my, I, I didn't have as many eggs as I originally planned, but that did actually result in a live birth. And then I have done other donations where I've had a ton of eggs. So, I mean, it, it does vary. And I think it's really important that people remember, like, uh, you're doing the best you can. You're giving this selfless gift that you should never feel down about yourself if the results aren't what you expect. And your gift ends after, after the gift. egg retrieval because you've done everything you can. And there are many other things that can happen. It could be sperm, fertilization. It could be... 
if there's a flood, I don't know. I have no idea what we're talking about. But yeah, basically that's very important. So would you recommend being an egg donor to anybody? Absolutely. Um, I recommend it to everybody. It's uh, one of the most fulfilling and proud experiences of my life. Okay. Are there any people that should extra do it or extra not do it? Um, I think it's what's right for you. Um, you know, if you are considering it, I highly recommend uh, looking into it, doing some research, reaching out to people like Nathan who can provide you with the information or um, even provide you with connections to people like me who can tell you about their firsthand experiences. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's definitely a personal decision. Um, it, you know, it's, it's something that you really want to make sure that you're prepared for and that you full, wholeheartedly want to do it. And, but I highly recommend it. And it has been definitely the most fulfilling experience of my life. And to make it clear, when you sign up, you don't have to do several. No. You can, do <laughs> <laughs> you can just do it once. Yes. Or you can do it many times. So mm -hmm. is that the case? Did Absolutely. you think you would do it a couple times or were you just going to do it once in the beginning? I wasn't sure. So when I first went in, I had I did my first donation. Um, I had a positive experience. It was great. And then I didn't do a donation for a couple years after that. And then I decided I wanted to do another one. So, I mean... It's your own schedule. You decide what's right for you. Um, so will you, if you were to have a child, which you will, yeah. would you donate after you have a child? Would that still change? No, no, that wouldn't change for me at all. I'll um, call you up in a few years, okay? <laughs> your husband's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, for me, um, I, I don't think that would okay. change it at all. <laughs> Interesting. Any last words? Uh, no, I just want to say that I am very thankful for these experiences I've had, and I'm thankful for Nathan <laughs> for always being there to listen to me. Thanks for all your laughs. <laughs> You're now officially retired. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you. Getting married and helping so many families. Um, and now we wish you lots of luck on your own family building. Thank you very much.